Hey, this is Mr. C, and thanks for tuning in to your latest math lesson. This is 3.2, adding and subtracting, specifically decimals. Once you have your name and your date and this topic, you can unpause the video. By the way, you do not have vocab notes today, so that is something to celebrate. We're moving on in 3, 2, 1. All right, here is your homework. Please pause the video to check it. Moving on in 3, 2, 1. All right, as I said, we are adding and subtracting. That will be decimals, but also will be whole numbers. So how can you add? How can you add whole numbers and decimals? Let's read this word problem that we like to always start off with. Kim and Martin swim 50 meters. Martin took 2,600 seconds longer than Kim. What was Martin's time in the race? I'm looking at longer, and I'm thinking, what does that mean? Because it says... What was Martin's time in the race? I want to find, that's the question. So I know we're finding a time, but if it took longer, what am I going to do? Well, I'm looking at this right here. Kim's time is 50.9 seconds. And if it's longer, I know that I'm going to add to find Martin's time. So first, to add these together, I'm going to estimate by rounding each number. That's added, each number together. And I'm going to get 51.3. Well, Mr. C, they want... The specific time they want to know what was martin's time in the race why do i need to estimate why can't i just add well this is kind of like a safety for yourself you know if you know how to add 51 we rounded that up to the whole number and then three tenths together and you know that you could get 51 and three tenths that can kind of save you later because when you add it and you might not line up the decimal points right and you get a wrong answer you can be like oh that's not close to 51 and three tenths i must have to redo that so let's look how they line up the decimals all right, so when you add decimals, you line them up, and I see a decimal point here and a decimal point here. They are directly above each other. It says right here, annex a zero to 50 and 9 tenths so that each place has a digit. Well, I notice annex must mean um, make one or, you know, put one there because nothing's there. So we want a placeholder. And now we're going to add. So then when you add, you add straight down. And so then if you're looking over here, we know that we get 51 and 16 hundredths. Martin swam the race in 51 and 16 hundredths seconds. The sum is 51 and 16 is close to the estimate 51 and 3 tenths. I agree they are close, so that means that I must have done the addition right because I estimated first to make sure my answer would be correct. Let's go on. Example was longer. So longer, I was going to add them together, and it's going to be here. Well, I know that first they estimated. Here's example one, and I will tell you what you need to write about this. So for example one, you're writing what I have underlined. That's the actual problem that should be written. And let's just read this together. Asher ran a race in 20 and 7 tenths seconds. Katie ran the same race 25 hundredths of a second faster. How fast did Katie run the race? This is similar to the first problem, but they used a different word here. They used faster, the faster number. But faster, I know that it's going to be a smaller number. If you do something faster, it takes less time. And I know that less means subtract. And so I think I'm going to subtract these two numbers here. I'm thinking, what was the first step they did? We're going to try to estimate now these two numbers. So I know I'm going to estimate 20.7 to about 21. And I'm going to subtract, and I'm thinking, what could I round this to? I'll round that to 3 tenths. And I know that I would get, I'm going to borrow there, I should get a number around 20 and 7 tenths. But it won't be exactly that. But if it's not close, then I'm going to be wrong. All right, you might notice the way that the book did it was that they didn't round the first number, and they rounded the second number to the tenths, and they think that the number should be around here. But to find the actual difference, we're going to line up the decimal points. We're going to take the actual numbers from the word problem. We're going to subtract them and annex a zero. Well, last time I said annex a zero is basically put a zero there that wasn't there before. And so we're going to go straight down. I can't take five away from zero, so I'm going to need to make that into a 10. I'm going to borrow from that 7. All 
All right, and I see the number here. I don't really know what that was. I'm gonna go back. Oh, that's a four. All right, so what I got was 20 and 45 hundredths. So I'm gonna say Katie ran the race in 20 and 45 hundredths seconds, and this number is close to this number, so I believe that I did it correctly. Now I want you to read this question and tell the person next to you. Please pause the video, and then we're moving on in three, two, one. For example two, we have two problems. Both of them should be written. And notice that I also have some support to help you. I have an estimate and an actual. So you're going to estimate both of these and add them for this one and subtract for this one. And then you're gonna find the actual answer. When you're ready for the answers, please unpause the video. We're gonna show you in five, four, three, two, one. All right, so here are your answers. I'm looking first at this one right here. So I like to round whole numbers first. I know that five rounds add up to three. I have three. I know that seven rounds add up to eight. So I have three plus eight. So this should actually be 11. So we know the answer should be close to 11, somewhere around there. So now I did the actual. This is red, and that's red on purpose. Um, I put a red there because that's called annexing a zero. I noticed that this number was first, so I put it on top. That's how we do it. This one's second. I put it on bottom. This one has less digits, so I annexed a zero. I added straight down. This should be your answer. Notice the decimal goes straight down as well. Over here, I wanted to show you a non-example of if I don't watch the decimal places. So I was estimating first, and I kept this 1.5, and I estimated this to 1. It's about 1. See, I just zero rounds that still to 1. So 1.5 minus 1, oh, I got 1.4. See, I made a mistake there, and we could do that so easily, and forgetting that the 1 doesn't have the decimal behind it, but the decimal does, is right behind the 1. So when you line up the decimal places, you'll get the correct answer of 5 tenths. It should be around 5 tenths, so when I get my answer, it should be around that. So now I have red zeros. I wonder why they're red. Well, because Mr. C annexed them, and you should have also annexed the zeros. Your answer will be wrong if you don't put 1.5 on the top. It should be on the top because it's first. This should be on the bottom because it's second. And so now I needed to borrow a couple, uh, three times. And so your answer should be 444 thousandths. I'm looking at these and I'm thinking, are they close? Yes, they are. There's a five in the 10th spot. There's a four in the 10th spot. That's pretty close. So if you don't have this written, you can pause the video. We're moving on in three, two, one. Right here. Your job now is to go to your math book, to go to page 65 and do numbers 9 through 14. Just as we, I would like you to include an estimate and an actual answer. The estimate makes sure that your actual answer um, is close to where it should be. We're going to show you the answers in 3, 2, 1. Here are your answers, your actual answers that you should have. I don't have estimates for you because that could be different depending on what you want to do. Now you're going to go to the gas station on Socrative and then choose whether you want to do the group math game that I talked about yesterday by the door and then Khan Academy or you go to Khan Academy right away. Remember, if you have assignments on Khan Academy, those need to be done first. And when you are on Khan Academy, make sure that you're doing math as we're in the subject of math right now, not um, computer programming or any other skill. We're specifically growing our math ability during this time. All right, and if you need the answers for the group math game, I'm going to show you those in three, two, one. Here are your answers for the center activity. And if you didn't remember, you are awesome. Thanks for watching.